well, the three ways you often see it written, NAD, NAD plus, and NADH. And basically, people tend to write NAD with and without the plus interchangeably. There's not really, you know, a great deal of difference there. But on a molecular term, there is a difference between NAD plus and NADH. And NAD plus is basically what we would call an oxidized form of NAD and NADH is called a reduced form of NAD. And basically this is, a, in chemical terms, it's to do with the, the function of how NAD works. So basically NAD flips between these two different states very easily by losing or gaining an ele an electrons. And that's how it actually generates, helps to generate energy in the mitochondria. So in the body, sometimes it'll be NAD plus and sometimes it'll be NADH. But the one that's most implicated in longevity and aging is the NAD plus form. One, one of the best ways is looking at fasting. So NAD levels, you know, can naturally fluctuate according to, you know, what you're eating. NAD can almost be measured as a, like a mark, is a sort of link between energy stress and NADs in the middle and then you've got the cells so the cell the NADs going up or down depending on how much energy stress the cell has because if you think about it if you if that cell is in energy stress so you're fasting you've got no nutrients coming in the cell kind of needs to say right there's energy stress here we're not going to get a new supply of amino acids or whatever we need to build new things therefore the cell is going to have to be resourceful it's going to have to repair things it's going to have to recycle things and Therefore, let's put NAD up so it switches on all those things and we're not being wasteful. However, if you're eating burgers for breakfast, lunch and dinner and you've got an abundance of energy coming in, your NAD levels are dropping, you'd say to the cell, do you know what? Do what you want. Don't need to repair ourselves. Got loads of energy coming in. Like our body's not in danger. What's the point in trying to fix it? So, so that's one way that NAD can fluctuate with fasting. The other thing is exercise. So when I'm talking about this recycling pathway and it declining as you get older, and the reason it declines is because of a, of a key enzyme in that pathway specifically declines. And this enzyme is called NAMPT and exercise has been shown to actually boost your NAMPT levels in your cells. So just by doing some exercise, you can actually improve the recycling capacity of your cells to use and recycle NAD. And so that's been quite well studied now as well.